Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and <clears throat> welcome to another tutorial for Cinema 4D and After Effects. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to fracture holes with Element 3D. This is a, an ident which I created a while back and uh, at one point in animation there is a lightning strike and only the section of the ground which was struck by the lightning actually breaks up and morphs into um, the logo which I um, I did the item for. So a lot of people saw this uh, when I showcased it on my portfolio and have been asking how I managed to isolate only this section of the ground from the rest of the plane with element 3D. So let me show you how I did this. Um, of course there are probably other ways to do so um, but I am simply showing you the workflow which I employed to get that effect. So I started off with a rectangle and uh, put the size up to 500 by 500 and then put it on a flat plane. So I changed the plane over here to XZ and then I uh, duplicate that. Let's call the second one large and call the first one small. And then on the large one we want to increase the size tenfold so 5000 centimeters from 500. So you end up with two squares um, in this uh, layout. Let's uh, duplicate the small square and then just shut it off for now. Let's select these two hit C to make them into editable objects, right click and then connect and delete. This is going to merge them into one single object. Let's get an extrude nerves and drop this into there. And we need to change the direction in which um, the spline is being extruded. So we have X, Y and Z. Put the Z to 0 and then put Y to minus 20 like so. Let's uh, shut this off. Let's grab another extrude nerves and bring back the smaller rectangle. Drop it into the extrude nerves and do the same thing. Extrude in the negative y direction. So what we end up with is this section here which is going to fit in the middle of the larger section which has a hole right there. So. Next up you want to shut off the large uh, extrusion and then click on the extrude nerves of the smaller uh, square and uh, you want to break it apart using any number of plugins available for this kind of thing for Cinema 4D. I'm going to be using Throw C by uh, Nitroman. Um, you guys can probably get this also. It is free and you can also get Xbreaker which is uh, also free. So let's go to Throwsy. I'm going to just bring that out and I want to break this piece up into a hundred different sections and um, just to save time I'm going to be using the random pieces mode. The Voronoi does generate better looking pieces but it takes longer but uh, for what I need to illustrate this should be um, enough. So I'm just gonna hit break now and this is gonna cut up my polygon into a whole bunch of different shapes and here we are. Um, after you break it apart you get all of these textures, these font tags and selection tags applied to your geometry we don't really need any of this, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And then uh, what we need to do next is uh, enable the Grow Shading Lines Shading Method. And uh, you can do this by simply pressing N followed by B. And this is going to show us the outlines of the um, different sections making up this entire shape. And what we want to do is to select all the um, pieces which are on the outside edge. So if it's touching the edge, we need to select it and isolate it from the rest of the um, polygon. This will make more sense as we go along. 
So starting with this corner, I'm just going to go all the way around. Okay, so there we have it. I have all the outside sections selected. And uh, just to check, I'm going to move this up and down. And uh, if I see any piece which I think should probably be part of the selection, I can go ahead and get it. And uh, some of them I have to go like on the underside to be able to grab them. But uh, I think this is a good selection. So what you want to do with this selection is to remove it from this fracture object. You basically want to pull it out here like this. Okay, and what I'm also going to do is to remove this dynamic tag. We don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this fracture object, which has the rest of the pieces in the middle. And I am going to remove all of the pieces which were left behind. And then the sections which we isolated from the first uh, larger selection, we're going to get these and put them into that same um, fracture. I'm also going to bring this back now. This is the larger extrusion. I'm going to hit C to make it editable. Right click everything here and then connect and delete and also make it a part of this uh, fracture over here. So what we're left with is two fracture objects. One is this right here, this section in the center, and the other one is on the outside. And the idea is that uh, we're going to be isolating uh, this section from the outer part in Element 3D, and that's going to allow us to fake the effect that we have fractured a hole um, from the center. Again, this might make more sense as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and save my file and then uh, import it into Element 3D in After Effects. Uh, but before I do, actually, I actually need to separate this section from this, sec from this section using materials. That's the way that Element 3D recognizes different sections of uh, geometry which are part of the same import. So we'll call one of these materials the outside. And let's make it red so it's nice and easy to see. Place it on the outside. Let's make another material and call it uh, inside. And let's make it uh, a really bright green and drop it onto the inside. So because we have two different materials here, Element 3D is going to know um, how to separate these two pieces of geometry. There's two groups of geometry basically. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this now and then import it in After Effects. Okay, we're in After Effects. Let's go to New Comp, 12820, um, duration 10 seconds, 24 FPS. And let's just call this Fracture. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new solid. And Let's call this element. I'm going to add element 3D. And um, it's just lagging a little, but here we go. Let's go to Scene Setup. And uh, here we want to import our Cinema 4D file. One of the great features of element 3D is that it, it can import native Cinema 4D files. You don't need to convert them into any other format. So let's import it. And uh, it's right here, fracture. I'm gonna hit open, and it's gonna look all the same. But uh, if you look at the object here, you have the inside and the outside. And when we enable or disable this, you can see that uh, Element 3D has separated this into two sections based on those two simple materials we put in Cinema 4D. Okay. What we want to do is uh, maybe add a different texture to these. So I'm going to go to my presets and go to Pro Shaders. I'm going to go to Ground. And for the outside, I'm going to use this Asphalt texture. I'm just going to put it right there, drag it on top of the other texture. And then for the inside, I'm going to use this Dirt 
texture. It's currently being UV mapped. We need to change this to a tile mode. So let's change the texture mapping from UV to box preserve aspect ratio. And we probably want to tile this a little more. So the UV repeat, let's put this to five and five. So this is the result. I only used two different materials so that you'd be able to identify where the two pieces of geometry are. But if I were doing this for real, I would use the same texture. That way it would look seamless. So that's like a final change you have to do before you render. Okay. Next, I want to go ahead and duplicate that fracture and uh, just press Control D. And we want to only leave the dirt on the first section and make it into group one. And then shut off the dirt on the second um, uh, fracture here and set that to group two. So now this dirt and the rest of the outside is on two different groups and that allows us to only affect one group. So let's uh, hit OK. And I'm gonna get a new camera. 35 mil, let's call this cam one. I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm gonna hit C to cycle through the camera movement options here. We can orbit, we can um, dolly in, we can pan, and so on. So let's just position our camera in the correct uh, area. And then I'm gonna go to group one and let's go to the particle replicator. Um, okay, I'm on the wrong section. We want to go to particle look. Go to multi object and click enable. And then uh, you want to go to the displacement controls or the scatter controls. So if we scatter on Y, for example, you can see now we're only breaking apart this section of our geometry. And uh, that's pretty much the layout um, for this. Um, obviously, the technique which I used for this section here, I ended up morphing these pieces which broke off into the logo. And uh, Video Copilot has a lot of tutorials on how to do that. So I won't be covering that, but I just wanted to show you how you get to the point at which you can then start um, doing the fracturing of um, your geometry. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.